Hi everyone. Thanks again for joining me for our list junior high take and make craft tutorial. This is the list in the holiday session, but at the end I'll tell you about something special that's happening for your age group in December. In the meantime, let's get to our ornaments. You're making two ornaments this week. They're both melted snowmen. There's this one. I'm going to do this so you can see that there are three different layers. Construction paper and lights from the Dollar Tree. Let's not forget our dollar store. As well as everything in here. We have the, um, this is plastic so it's not breakable. Little trees came from dollar store. The only thing that didn't, of course, were the little black pom-poms and these buttons. Even little Christmas trees came from the dollar store. So let's get started. In your package, you have a piece of construction paper with the three sizes that are needed for your snowman. Let's go ahead and cut them out. You might wanna just watch this and then come back and do it. Once you're ready, obviously the light's going to be the nose. I tried to position it to fit, figure out where I want it to go, just like this. And then I found it easier to take a pair of scissors and poke a hole to begin with, because otherwise it's going to rip too much and you just want to gently push that through. You can see that. And then of course your next one, I'm just layering these circles, the melted snowman part. You do want to push gently because you don't want to rip it too much. Of course, there is going to be that little bit. And then, of course, your final one, which will be the snow person's face. I think this light is a little bit thicker than the other one, so just have to be. There we go. Push it down. Once you have all your layers on, then you need to start decorating it. The first thing I would do, which I have done, is take some of the ribbon and you're going to glue it between the bottom and the next layer up. So if you just want to put some glue right in here. There we go. And push that ribbon down in there. And in the end, you're going to cover that part up with the hat, so it's all right. If there's a little bit of glue peeking out, that's fine. Then, with the brown construction paper, you want to cut out some arms for your snow person. Let's get those glued in. These I glued between the top and the second circle a little bit of glue on both sides of one end. Just stick those in like that. And do the same with the other one. Now you have black pom-poms to make the eyes and nose part. If you want to use a black marker to do that, that is perfectly fine. I just like to add a little bit more texture, and that's why I use pom-poms. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and glue those on right now. Let's see, put two eyes on. So for each ornament, I think I gave you seven pom-poms for each ornament. So then I made five for the mouth. My glue just kind of ran a little bit. That's all right. It's only for me. <laughs> Let's get these on. There we go. Then I'm going to put this aside and show you how to just finish it up. So there you go. I'm going to turn the little nose on so you can see what it looks like so far. Pull that. Remember, there's a little tab in the back that needs to be pulled out, so you have to do that before you can turn your light on. There's his face so far. So this is one. I've got that far. 
back and I'm going to turn this face on. Uh, if I can pull that out. Oh, here we go. It's a little tougher. Okay, it's not coming on right now. It's a little tougher. You also have a piece of black construction paper, and that's for the hat. I did give you a piece of um, some patterns of hats, but if you want to make your own, go ahead. And I did say in the instructions, if you use a pencil to trace the hat, you can see the outline to cut it out because it is difficult to see on the black construction paper. I already have a hat cut out, so I'm just going to glue mine on. And you only really want to do the bottom and like halfway up because otherwise you're going to have glue all over. And like I told you, it is going to cover up that ribbon. There you go. The, the only thing left to do is glue some buttons on because each snowman gets some buttons. And you can put them wherever you want. Because since he's melted, they're not going to be in a straight row, are they? There you go. And for this one, we're going to have some dark blue buttons and again in every package I think you have three buttons for each ornament now if you wanted to add the piece of yarn for a scarf go ahead that is one done and we'll set that one aside your next ornament is the melted snowman inside the globe so of course the first thing you want to do is take the top off of your globe now these little styrofoam balls, they will go all over. They stick to everything. I found it easier, easiest, if you just make a little hole, so you need your scissors, make a little hole in the end of the bag, and then you can place it over the opening of the ornament and then just drop some down. Now I said to fill it halfway because, I mean not halfway, sorry, use about half of the styrofoam balls or less because the more you use, the less you will see of everything that gets put in there because they will just cover everything up. So if you only want to use a few bowls, that's fine. I'm just gonna add a few more so we can see what I am doing. Get down in there. As you can see, they're already starting to jump around because the static from the styrofoam bowls is amazing. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Now to get the tree in, it was easier if you take the bottom part and do it that way, and then just push it down. And there's your tree inside. Again, you wanna get some of this little black pom-poms. Here you go, and put those in, because there's his nose, his eyes, his mouth. You can separate them. And I'm gonna put red buttons in this one. There you go, pop those down in there. Again, three buttons for that. And you also have a piece of orange foam. So if you, oh, hello, if you want to get that and make the nose part, it's difficult to see because I put so much in here, you can't see, but a piece of the orange foam for the nose. The last thing to do is put a little scarf in there. You have a piece of yarn. I put a little um, knot in it so it made it look like a scarf more so. Let's see. You just knot it like that. And then pop that in there too. And then you just have to put your lid back on. Here it is. And since these are plastic, the likelihood of them breaking is so much less than if it was a glass one. Sometimes when you're taking these tops off of glass ones, they crack and it's just so much safer with the plastic. There you go, you have everything in there. And again, the last thing to do is just to put a piece of ribbon on so you can hang your melted snowman up. I did it this way, just poking it right through there and making a knot through that way. And then you hang it and you can tie a knot up on here too. So as I said, this is the list make and take and make craft for your age of this year. 
it's amazing how the year has flown by. But in December, I have created some self-care kits for junior high kids, and there are a few treats in there. There's some things to make that will help you stress less over the holidays in this upcoming school year. And of course, we will be doing more things again in January. So you can register for those self-care kits starting November 30th, and they'll be available for pickup, I believe, December 10th. But you can call us at 708-371-5666, extension 140. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a really lovely holiday with your family, and I hope um, 2021 is a much better year for all of us. So until we can see each other, take care, stay healthy, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.